Yo, 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 we got a very excellent episode today. You've seen the title, you already know. We're watching Milk Manor. Ah, ah, ah. Milk Manor, baby! If you're new to the channel, I'm just gonna be upfront with you. I like milks. I enjoy them. Uh, older women are my thing. You understand? I'm 28. But they were my thing when I was 18. You understand? So, when it comes to milk, I have a very, very special place in my heart. Very special place in my heart. So, Milk Manor, I first watched season one via Cody Co. And now that Cody Co is in some hot water, I don't think he's gonna be doing Milk Manor like that anymore. So, I will take on the reins and we're gonna watch Milk Manor season two. Now, let me explain a little bit about Milk Manor. The whole concept of the show, at least for season one, these milfs are gonna go to the house and at the house they're going to meet men essentially it's a dating show for cougars and the twist is that the men are their sons i love older women that can keep up with me because i'm bringing that young energy i'm looking for love i need a grown woman out here let's go here we go here we go Whoa, hey, yeah. all right now. I'm so curious as to what I could find here. I mean, this is it. All of my moments have led me to this one. And hopefully there's somebody here that is gonna be interested in me. I can be interested in them. What's going on? Wait, there are moms? Holy But, um... That's this twist, and then they have, you know, challenges here and there. I don't think this show is well made like the Drewski show, but you know, it's not a bad show, I don't think. It's it's not a great show, but it's definitely not a bad show. There's more production value. So all that being said, let's just jump into some milfs. I mean, jump into the show. And don't forget to subscribe. Because we're gonna watch all of it. You know, I never realized how much they played into the MILF name. MILF said, knock you out. You should MILF, your MILF should know. Your MILF don't dance. She's a bad MILF drama. MILF, I'm a big boy now. MILF told me not to come. Uh, MILF's broken heart. I ain't your MILF. I always love my MILF. Jeez. Some people my name's Jamie. I'm 51 years old and I'm from Bucks County, Pennsylvania. My name is Barbie. I'm 45 years old. Oh, my God. My name is Callie Mack. I am that little old lady from Pasadena, California. Gorgeous. I don't look my age. I don't act my age. And I don't smell like an old person. And I definitely don't want my man to smell like an old person either. My name is Crystal and I'm 48 years old. I live in Charlotte, North Carolina, and I'm originally from St. Louis, Missouri. Okay, so I don't know. I never watched a full milk season with uh, Cody Co. I only watched what he watched. But I will say, this this show gets very serious, you know? There's, there's like some, some tender, real moments. And I just want to preface this before we get into any of the funny shit or the, the mockery. Like, these are real people. And... You gotta respect them for even coming on this show to find love because love is the scariest thing. So scary. So I, I commend them as people and I just wanna put that there. That's my overarching feeling about this whole show so far. Because I'm seeing the real moments and I'm just like, yeah. You guys are real. I just want the best for you. And this is another. I'm Christina from good old North Carolina. I am 46. I'm just a Southern girl, as they say, and I came to find my man. An agency called The Marketing Boutique. Mm -hmm. Prior to that, let's just call it what it is. I was a stripper. Okay. Wow. Did you know the dancer? No regrets. What's that? <laughs> I'll show you later. 
It took me a while to get comfortable with saying like I am or was a stripper, but I own it now and I've tried really hard to shine some light on the industry and my interpretation of feminism is allowing women to do whatever they want. Do you want to see my trick? Meet me, meet me. <laughs> Mama gonna work it out. At this point, I'm not surprised. Just looking at her accessories and her green dress, Barbie wants to be the center of attention. You know, she just has to be all eyes on me, but she is no competition for me. Look at who just arrived, love. Hi! Oh. We got another one! Oh. oh, my God! Hey. <laughs> Come on down! Hi, I'm Lynette. I'm 50 years old. Okay, so the women have now met each other. Uh, shit. Nice. Can I remember every single one of their names? All right. So going down the list. Wait. Okay. So in order, we have Barbie. So we have Barbie, Christina, Crystal, Jamie, Kelly, and Lynette. Now, if you're asking Sun Tsunami, who's the one he's eyeing on at the moment? Definitely Lynette. I don't know. If I had to gravitate towards someone, but they're all hot. Yeah, <laughs> they're all hot. So... That's the start. That's where we're at right now. Now, I guess we're going to see the men angle. Because, as I said before, season one, it was the sons. The sons of these women that they were dating. Now, I saw the men in the trailer. And I saw pictures of their son just now. It's not them. So, I these must be new guys, right? They have to be new guys. I, like, that young, is, like young, like, like, like mid to late 20s. Yeah. What if they're okay. like... 40 year olds with beer bellies. Oh, we're okay with that? I think younger men have a lot to offer me. It's kind of a rejuvenation process. It kind of takes me back in time, makes me feel young and playful. And then at the same time, I think I have a lot of attributes they're looking for. I'm ready to share my life with someone. And I think turning 50 really brought all of that to a head. Welcome to a brand new season of MILF Manor. Get ready for an unforgettable experience with wild challenges, incredible dates, and most importantly, the opportunity to find true love. Aww. For this journey, each of you has a cell phone. This will be your main source of communication for your time here. Stay tuned for the next message, P.S. Prepare for some major shocks and surprises throughout oh. your time here. Oh. What does that mean? I don't know. Right? I have no idea what the manor has in store for us, but I'm excited to see what kind of men are coming to the manor. Now, I will mention this. There's five men. There's six women here. There's five men that are coming. They revealed that. Uh, that's one of that's two now out of the three things that they told me in the trailer. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> <laughs> I got a text. Woo! Look towards the lake. Men are arriving now. This nigga has, no, he has Converse's with the suit jacket. Nigga still wear that? No. No! My name is Chris. I am from Owensboro, Kentucky, 27 years old. I'm an MMA fighter and a model. I ain't gonna lie. I love my Hispanic women. I love my Asian women. I love my thick women, my slim women, my white women, black women. I've tried dating, like, just out in the streets. I've tried picking girls up. I've tried the online dating apps. Uh, I've yet to find something worthwhile. So I was like, all right, let's give this a shot. So now here we are. All right, so it looks like they're not the sons. That's the most important thing. So they're not going after their sons. Season one, they said, we're just gonna make it exciting. And then we're never doing it again. Don't ever do that again. So here we are. Uh, yeah. So I guess we're just gonna speed run through these guys. I don't really care about them until they have like something important, but yeah. So 
now, now, with the guys and gals together, let us see how these milf men are gonna twist it up. I'm here because I kind of want to get manhandled by an older woman. <laughs> He's either Greek or Italian, has curly hair, and I also can tell he's gonna be the wild one. Hi, hey, Joey, how you doing? Joey is giving bad boy vibes. Hi, Joey, Infinite. I'm Kelly. Nice. Joey, I don't know. Joey doesn't give me bad boy vibes. He looks look like Sun and Tsunami. Do I give you bad boy vibes? I'm a bad boy. I'm a bad boy. Maybe ask my bad boys don't like bad boys. You know what I'm saying? Bad boys don't like bad boys. Bad boys like good girls. Bad boys don't like bad boys. It's just a bad. It's a bad boy thing. Shut up. It's a bad boy thing. I'm definitely here to find love, and I'm here to find a best friend. So I'm really looking for someone who's sort of on the same wavelength. I love women that are intellectually stimulating, and I find that older women. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like his last fit earlier, clean, clean. That was clean. This fit, not clean. This is this is the kind of guy. Like I'm, I think I'm the same kind of guy too. You, ha how you dress is really going to accentuate your features. Uh, it's weird. Like here. The blue brings him down. But that other shit, the white, is Tends elegant. to be a lot more so. Wow. Look at this. He looks great in this. I, look, I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm hoping. Piercing blue eyes. He looks like a model. And he smells fresh. And delicious, too. My name is Sam. I'm 24 years old. And I'm uh, working in sales and going back to school. I'm definitely ready to find love. I'm extremely hopeful for this entire experience. I think it's awesome that it's become more normal for younger men to date older women. Older women are less insecure. They're more honest, which is great. I don't want to play guessing games like I do with most women my age. And you see, I actually respect the fuck out of that. Because it feels like a guessing game. I'm not going to lie to you. It does. But I also think it just has to be the quality of it. Because I have women at the same age as this, at these mills playing the same guessing games so i get it i actually <laughs> i actually fucking get it but ultimately i don't want to have to wait for someone that i like to like age up to be mature enough to go out with me you know i i don't know ah, i don't worry about my love life let's just worry about theirs yeah i call dan i'm miles i'm 24 years old I'm here to possibly meet the love of my life. I know I'm a catch because I have a beautiful smile, gorgeous face, lovely body. He's the bad boy. This, this, this nigga is gonna, he's gonna turn the competition upside down. I can feel it. I'm easy on the eyes and I'm humble. <laughs> I'm supposed to hear how much after all that. Hi, nice Miles. I'm you. Lynette. Nice, nice to meet you. A little shell shocked, but pleasantly surprised. The guys are extremely kind and very good looking, but I'm a little worried by the fact that there's five of them and six of us. There's a bit of unknown going on, but I'm just leaning into it. And who knows? I may find the man of my dreams. What are you drinking? Oh, I'm a, I'm a whiskey cup guy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. He's going for the hard stuff. That's what I'll be going for later. <laughs> I kind of feel in Barbie right now. I love the color green. I love my Hispanic women. I'm fully aware of lust. And right now, I am. that's who I'm lusting towards. That's who I'm looking for. <laughs> I'm fully aware of it. All right, who wants to make out first? <laughs> Just kidding. Aww. I'm kidding. <laughs> I know right off the bat that there's going to be an issue with women liking the same man. Because anytime you're with a group of women and you're with a group of hot guys, there's definitely conflict at some point. I have to live in the house with these people for a while. And so I know it's definitely coming. Yeah, and you have to consider that. That's, I think this is what the producers are leading into this time, is the inevitable conflict that's going to happen when you have a lot of women and not enough men. So kudos on the producers for that one. Uh, this should be an interesting season. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. I think I know what the surprise is. I'm not gonna ruin it for you guys, but if this surprise actually is kind of crazy. He's very charming and sweet. Um, so we had a connection right when he came up, pretty much. You guys gonna break it up? 
Hi, Barbie. Yeah. Okay. Hi. Break it up. Yeah. Come, Come sit. sit on someone's lap. Yeah. Hi. 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 You have beautiful eyes, Barbie. Oh, thank you. I do. Everyone has beautiful eyes. Like <laughs> yeah, you do too. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Barbie is feeling intimidation, so she has to uh, piss on her territory. I mean, I'm personally not threatened by her, but if you want to play like that, may the best woman win. Ooh. That's respect, though. May the best women win. Because that's what it is, ultimately. If you're going after one guy, you just be your best you. I Personally, I don't think shitting on another person is going to get you any favors with me. It shouldn't get you any favors with anybody else. Unfortunately, people like that, though. But, yeah, if you have to shit on someone else, like, if you have to bring someone on their knees just to feel tall, there's something wrong with you. Yeah, use that. Real fee. Real fee. What does that mean? I have no idea. It's like what milf. Oh, I got it. What? Room I'd like to. F in. Oh. 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 Uh oh, guys. Uh, oh wait, what? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for your first challenge. For this challenge, each of you will pair up with a man, and one of the special women will be our host. To choose your partner and find out who's hosting, ladies, pick a card. Ooh. Okay. Wait, so is there no, like, uh, like actual host, though? That's just kind of weird, right? It's, it's very detached. It's not really like a, it's not a game show. Okay, so this challenge, essentially, you got the women, you got the women, and you got the men, and they're going to compete together. Now, the reason why, we don't know, but they're partnering up together, and one of the women is going to be the host. Now, let's see what kind of challenge they may have to do for us, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I know what it is. I just got another text, guys. Oh, wow. Oh. Now that you're all in teams, gentlemen, we have special outfits for you that you can oh. find in your bedrooms. Oh. Ladies, oh please go get changed into your swimsuits. Once you're ready, please head outside. We received the text message. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie to you. This next challenge sucks. I don't care for it. Uh. It just makes me realize how much of I don't have. I mean, I, I look better than how I used to back in the day. You know, you can see the guns, the shirt hides it, but I, I, look, I, I look better than how I look back in the day. It's not a, you know, I'm not ashamed of my body, but what I'm saying is this next challenge will put me to shame with my body because these good men are fucking fit, every single one of them. Jeez, man. I'm just gonna ruin it. They're gonna lick each other. They're gonna put maple syrup on each other's bodies and they're gonna lick each other. And I guess the challenge is who can lick off the most maple syrup off each other's bodies. And uh, if you guys care about it, just watch it on online. Like, <laughs> But after that challenge, I'll show parts of it, but after that challenge, uh, we go on to the next challenge, which is... Oh. Part of me feels a little bit jealous. Everyone's covered in maple syrup. They're touching each other's bare bodies, sticky, sexy. It's hot. Wax. <laughs> no! Get your nose. Tasty. What the f Seriously, Barbie? Come on, girl. I'd like to get under here a little bit. Sorry. Oh, oh. <laughs> you can help out too. What? Well, wow. Barbie is bopping around, licking people, acting wild, but I don't feel threatened by no woman. So, not paying attention. Barbie is chaos. No. Barbie, yo. Like, the men will be chaos. The ones I said, right? The one dude. But Barbie is. Barbie is evidently. The most chaotic person in the house. God damn. Jamie, we got that. Yes. Let's go. Who ultimately won, though? You guys did an amazing job. Okay, so Crystal and Chris are the first ones to win the date. That's the reward at the end of this. So I guess we're going to see snippets of that, and we're also going to see how everyone else feels about it. But Barbie was definitely a menace, even though she was supposed to be just a host. Just a host. I'll tell you. I have a text message. Barbie, because you did such a great job hosting, you also get to ask somebody on a date. All right, oh, no. uh oh. Barbie didn't even have to do the challenge that we had to do, and she gets to go on the date. Totally not fair. Choose wisely. Uh oh. Uh oh. I thought Jacob tasted the best. Ooh. Ooh. 
<laughs> I graciously accept. Wink, wink. <laughs> When Barbie asked Jacob on a date, I was shocked, but not shocked. I mean, she was already scoping him out. But listen, we're not going to focus on the past. I'm going to move forward and go after who I want. All right, so now we're going to get into the date between Barbie and Jacob and Crystal and Chris. Now, I honestly did not expect Barbie to pick Jacob. Honestly, I just didn't even expect her to get a chance to pick somebody. That shit was crazy. But so we got that. Let's just see how they interact. I have some food menus for you, you to have a look at. Mm. Well, can I start you off with something to drink? Yes, please. I forgot my readers. Oh, yeah. no. Do you want me to read it for you? Yes. Yeah. Sure? Yeah. <laughs> I'm over the moon, to be honest. Honestly, she gives me she will break my heart vibes. I don't I don't think I could like Barbie. I think Barbie would break my heart. I don't know. <laughs> she just gives me those vibes. I don't know. Like the other women. Maybe, right? I can see potential with all of them, but Barbie, I just, I don't see the potential. I see my heart being broken. And yeah, I'm excited to see where I go. I'm interested, girls. Who are you attracted to? Right off the bat? Right off the bat, as in, we're walking in. What were your thoughts? Well, I think you were one of the first people to walk in. The first? Yeah, yeah you were the so first. So you were already walking. like, swing, you know? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you serious right now? Like, why would you call out the guy that I'm on a date with? clear that Barbie needs to, like, always get attention. But what she needs to do is worry about her date and get the f*** of mine. Who you guys were attracted to at the house when you guys first yeah. met us? Yeah. That's a good question. I, that's what I want to know. I mean, 100% you, Barbie. Hmm. Like, you are you are my type on paper. OK. I'll say, if I'm being honest, I have my eye on Barbie. I love the green. I'm going to say I love the ink. Okay. But then uh, then that's why, that's why I was like, OK, we're going on a date all together. Perfect. I'm here for it. Oh, I feel so bad for Crystal. Come on. How is that? How is Crystal supposed to feel hearing that? <laughs> honestly, honestly, that's fucked. Vibe is awkward, which makes me kind of feel bad for Crystal. So I feel secretly kind of good, but you know. Uh, guys, whip chains, red room type of vibe. You got to keep it spicy. Honestly, I don't care about BDSM. I'm not a BDSM kind of guy. <laughs> oh, you would think the guy that's kind of a masochist is, cares about BDS. I'm not a BDS guy. You know? Like the gimp or, or, or the collars, the leather, the leather. I'm good. I'm okay. Also, why, why is leather always black? Why is it never green leather or red? Hideous. No, there is red leather, but why is it no green? Have you ever had your butt bitten? Bitten? See, uh, bitten. I thought you said eaten at first. Yeah, who, who didn't bite a butt? No. Would about... you let me bite your butt? Simple. I just think you have a biteable butt. And I... Realistically, I actually believe that any guy who wants to get a girl, if you tell her you want to bite her butt, she will most definitely let you bite her butt. All right, so that's something new. I never knew about biting butts. I think that's my, mis my biggest mistake. That's why I have no girlfriend right now. I haven't bitten any butts. So, Joey, hey, kudos to you, my guy. I will, uh, I will bite some damn butts. Do you see my, my butt? Okay. Yeah. If that's what he wants to do, of course. Yeah, bite my butt, Joey. This is going to be so interesting. I'm going to allow you to bite my butt. I'm going to join you, Lock. Okay. Lucky man, Joey. See, just a little nudge. Nothing crazy. Well, you can get more into detail with it, but... Mm-hmm. A good butt. The biting of the butt, such a turn on. Whole nother level, for sure. So, so huh. you think I made the right? Huh. 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 Joey's right. Huh. Joey. Huh. Okay. I love older women. I love reading. I love philosophy. I love politics. Wow. So okay. I feel like I don't really connect. That's not Barbie. <laughs> you want such? <laughs> I don't think that's Barbie. We'll see. <laughs> Philosophy, politics. I don't think she gives a shit. With a lot of younger women on that sort of that basis. Yeah, yeah. So for me, I'm really looking for someone who's. But you just said everything mature. that I'm into. Like, well, well happy yeah. days. I mean, mm -hmm. and um, I've been a wild child, you know. Were, were you married? I've never been married. No. Uh oh. No. What do you think your son would think? Ooh. Oh. <laughs> mm. 
Oh, my guy. My... That's a very personal question. I'm not going to lie to you. That's such a personal question. I what, what I've realized when it comes to that, when it comes to people that have kids, you really got to, like, not get into the kids' business. <laughs> you have to be, like, so connected before you can, like, say, oh, what would your son think? Oh, how would your daughter feel? Oh, should you be doing, doing this with your kid? Like, you can't. It's so tough, especially with dating a mom or even a father. It's you can't do that. That's that oof, rough question. I think you'd probably be like, why are you not dating somebody your age kind of thing? Mm -hmm. You know, the age gap is not even a thing. No, of course. Yeah. Do you feel the same way? I, no, I definitely feel the same yeah? way. Yeah. 100%. Are we vibing? We're vibing. Are you getting a boner? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do we do with this? It's relating to Trump. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> I'm glad that I went on a date with Jacob and we had the chemistry that we do. I know that we have things in common, but I'm looking forward to still finding out what kind of chemistry I have with some of the guys in the house. And so I'm not ruling out anybody or anything quite yet. So can I ask you a personal question? Go ahead, I'm an open book. When is the last time you've been in love? Oh. All right. Do I answer that question? Like genuine love? When's the last time I've been in genuine love? Uh, I don't. I can't answer that question. Never mind. I can't answer that question. It sounds like you were not in love with her. You were in love with the thought of the idea a relationship, of the idea yeah. of a relationship mm -hmm. versus the actual person. I'm looking forward to finding somebody that is as important to me as fighting is. That's a that's a, a steep hill, but it is it is a goal of mine. And I'm I get that. I get that. For her, she knows what she wants. She obviously wants someone that can prioritize both her and their career. Just you know, I I understand how she feels completely, but I get how dude feels as well. How Chris feels, I get that. You want to find someone that is just as important to you as your life where you know they're inseparable and the other people that he was with he just couldn't see them as inseparable so i get that i actually 100 percent i get that okay so the last part so the dates were i thought the dates were fine you know they seemed like they had some chemistry uh yeah everything about the show has been okay so far i've had no you know you, you, you've heard what i said so i don't know if need to repeat it but more importantly, the surprise is about to happen. And I'm very curious about what this surprise is. Barbie. Barbie's one? <laughs> yeah, that's, that one, that, that's the lead. I want to say that's full. But like, the thing is, like, I haven't even had the chance to sit down and talk to her yet. So like, yeah. I know it's lust. Like, I know nothing about it. Mm. All right, number, number one, I'm going to go Christina. And then two, I'm going to go Barbie. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Barbie's number one. Obviously. Got there. Yeah. Oh, I mean, see. Look, look, she has everyone's hearts, and I get it. She is the youngest of the, the four, or the five, the six. She's the youngest of the six. Uh, She has a great body. She's attractive, Latina. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of good qualities to Barbie. But like I said, she would break my heart. And <laughs> ever since I, I made that comment, I'm just like, I'm just not with her. I'm not with her, because, ugh. But I do see the issue that all these men enjoying and liking Barbie is going to have in the house, especially with the other women there. But the twist should keep things fresh. So let's see about that. We were vibing. I was like, OK. I'm hoping that Chris doesn't try and connect with Barbie. Obviously, he's a good looking guy. He's a lot taller than me as well. But I mean, I'm definitely not phased by that. I got there first, so he's going to have to step aside. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Now, I'm not gonna lie, in love, it's not a good attitude. Especially when it comes to all these people in the house. It's not about being first. Oh, God, I wish it was. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. It's all about the lasting impression. You know what I'm saying? And you were there, Monica, you were there at the date. She even said that Chris was the first one that she had eyes on. Don't, don't delude yourself. Do your best, but don't delude yourself. Yeah. Would it be different if we were all around your age? I think it's honestly, in a way, better 
that you're not because girls are age, they're very competitive with each other and it's not as much like everyone's looking out for each other. People are helping in the kitchen, like never would have happened if they were our age. No. They still would have probably been in their room. No, they would have been, you guys oh, clean it up. 100%. What about you guys, though? How does it feel, you know? It's a different mm -hmm. type of conversation. It's a different flow. I would say a lot of older women, we are in, we're in better shape. A lot of us are in better shape. And if you guys, you know, you keep us feeling young and you do activities that we can keep up with. Like sex. <laughs> All right, here's the twist. We're in our prime, sexual prime as we get older. You guys are younger, you're still in your sexual prime. Yeah, all right. Like for instance, for me, I don't feel any different than I did when I was 20, right? 20 years later, my body's changing, I'm getting a little bit older, physically, all of that. But I still internally feel young as f Oh, jeez, yeah. <laughs> Guys, guys. It's my f dad. God. What? Uh, it's their father. Oh my God. It's Yo, okay, I'm not gonna lie. I want the swagger of this nigga in the middle. That's always, actually, that could be Chris's dad too. I just want this nigga's swag. Look at that. That's some swagger. But all these guys, they look cool. My dad. <laughs> That's my <laughs> dad. That's my dad. <laughs> Oh my god, they are handsome. Oh my god, the dads are hotter than the suns. I uh -oh, feel faint. Uh -oh, Me too. Uh -oh. oh, squeeze your butt cheeks together. It pushes the blood up to your head. Oh, yeah. I cannot believe these are their dads. What's going on? <laughs> the dads are Oh, I don't know what the dads are doing here, but things are definitely about to get spicy. Uh, oh, wait a, second. wait a second. Wait a second. Wow. I'm not gonna lie, that's a fucking twist. Wait a second. If the dads are single, if the dads, if all these dads are single, and these women are already attracted to these niggas, oh no. These sons may get usurped by their... First of all, this show is going to destroy family relationships. What's their, what's, what is, what is this show's addiction to bringing in people from the family? First you had the son season one, you brought in their sons. Now you, you, you said, okay, no sons. The guys, there's the guys. The guys are just guys, but the guys have their fathers here. So it's like, fuck, man. <laughs> this show wants to destroy the family unit. I can, I can fucking see it. But that is essentially episode one. Uh, if you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. I'm going to do episode two, obviously, right now. So, subscribe to the channel if you want to see episode two. And yeah, thank you for watching. This is Sun Tsunami shining the fuck out. Catch you on the next episode. Peace.